Today, we have some breaking news from Colombia. The country's largest rebel group, the National Liberation Army, also known as the ELN, has just made a significant announcement that could potentially bring an end to five decades of war. Let's dive into the details. In a statement released on Tuesday, the ELN Central Command has ordered its units across the country to cease all offensive actions against the nation's military starting from July 6. This is a major step towards a ceasefire with the Colombian government. According to the ELN statement, the group will stop attacks on the military, including espionage. However, they made it clear that their fighters will continue to use their weapons solely for self-defense in case of any attack by the military or other armed groups operating in Colombia's rural areas. Cut to images of the ELN and government representatives shaking hands during the ceasefire agreement signing. This move comes after the ELN and the Colombian government agreed in June to take actions that would lead to a bilateral ceasefire, scheduled to begin on August 3. The ceasefire is set to last for six months and is intended to facilitate peace talks that have been ongoing since last year and are expected to continue until at least 2025. It's important to note that the ELN has grown significantly since 2017 when it occupied areas previously controlled by the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, or FARC. The FARC has been Colombia's biggest guerrilla army. Today, the ELN is estimated to have around 4,000 fighters who are active in Colombia's Choco region, as well as along the nation's borders with Venezuela and Ecuador. However, as the ELN and other armed groups, like the Gulf Clan, continue to fight over territory, thousands of people have been forced to leave their homes. Humanitarian organizations have been raising concerns about the impact of this conflict on civilians. According to a UN report published in June, Colombia registered 214,000 internally displaced people in 2022 alone. This highlights the urgent need for a peaceful resolution to the conflict. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more news from around the world.